Brookwood, how are you today? It is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. And I am glad to be here with you, virtually at least, to look at our core value for the week in our devotional thought of the week, read a scripture. Let's start with our core value for the week, which is continual improvement. Continual improvement means always getting better. That's very important. Any kind of work you do, anything in life really, it's about constantly, continually improving. Now our thought of the week is this pray for the holy spirit because only he can strengthen you pray for the holy spirit because only he can strengthen you so try this with me take your hands and make some praying hands okay you can do it like this you can do it like this but kind of like you're praying then take those hands and put them up like you're receiving something from heaven, okay? And then bring them down and touch your chest, like that, all right? Next, let's point up, and finally, make some big muscles, all right? So with the thought of the week, it goes like this, pray, for the Holy Spirit because only He can strengthen you. Let's try it one more time here. You can do this with me and you can repeat after me the words as well. Pray for the Holy Spirit because only He can strengthen you. Very good, very good. Acts chapter 9, verse 17, tells the story of a man named Saul who becomes the Apostle Paul, St. Paul. First he's called Saul. and He wasn't a Christian, but he was filled with the Holy Spirit. He was going through a tough time, but he was filled with the Holy Spirit, and he gained strength from that. So, This is a man named Ananias who's praying for him. He says, Brother Saul, the Lord Jesus who appeared to you on the road as you are coming here has sent me so that you may see again and be filled with the Holy Spirit. So, one more time, pray for the Holy Spirit because only He can strengthen you. Show me those muscles. Very good. Let's pray. Lord, we do pray that you would fill us with your Holy Spirit, that you would give us strength for what we are about to do, for our work, for loving our friends and family, for even loving our enemies. And we pray that you, Holy Spirit, would give us strength to please you and to do your will. We pray that you'd be with us today. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Y'all have a spirit-filled day. I'll see you later.